Check out this infrared thermometer I got. Um, boom! Look at it, it shoots out a laser, and it's really accurate. 74. You can actually hold the trigger down, and I got one that runs off of uh, double A's instead of uh, 9 volt, so I can just use rechargeable batteries. So I could just keep the trigger on, night and day, and just replace the batteries for free. And then look at this, look how accurate that is. Like it's 82 on the window, 80 here, 75. Oh my god, this is such a cool toy, and it was only like 20 bucks on Amazon. And then look at this, it's accurate because I put it in a glass of water. What does that say? Can't read it. 60 degrees. Isn't that awesome? Later. So this little device is proving to be really, really cool and useful. Um, see the laser over there? And can you read this, what it's saying here? Um, it says 79 degrees. So you can take this tool and start firing it up on walls and vents and find out where your heat is coming from. So let's check that out. Alright, so I've ran this experiment and I have already identified where the heat is coming from. But let me just show you. Okay, so. When you have a temperature like this, or a thermometer, what is it really measuring? Well, it's measuring the heat right in this corner, uh, this wall. It's actually just measuring the temperature of the wall. So if you take what I found, it's interesting. So this is the sunny side, right? 83 degrees. But if I come over to the shady side of the RV and then do it again, it's only it's 82 degrees. And that kind of tells me that the insulation is working for the most part. You start to measure things like this, uh, this tablet, the screen is 89 degrees. The TV right here is 93 degrees. Um, and these electronics, so here's my laptop, my personal laptop, turned off, 77, nice cool. I can't believe I'm saying 77 is cool, but it's hot outside right now. And then one that's turned on, 89, 80, 95 degrees. That's the, there's the CPU right there. It's pumping out some serious heat. If you measure, it's a little bit cooler over here. So get one of these tools, man. It was only like 15 bucks on Amazon. Anyways, and I love this particular one because you can just hold down the trigger and scan. And it also runs off of um, <clears throat> uh, double A's. So I've got a rechargeable batteries. And that's better because you don't have to keep buying the 9 volt batteries. So, um, and then also another source of heat, heat exchange, I guess. 86 degrees through this vent, whereas just the te so you can see that there's actually some temperature uh, heat exchange right there. Um, one one thing that actually interested me here, I thought this was pretty cool. What do you, you think? What do you think about this point of view? Pretty cool cam, huh? Point of view cam. All right, so so let's measure this light. So can you see that? Oh, it's got to take a second to heat up. But when it gets hot, it goes up to 110 degrees. Alright, well, while that's heating up, 82 degrees, let's take the point of view thermometer cam and go over to this, this person, and see how hot they are. Oh wow, she's running a fever, I can tell. 86 degrees. <laughs> um, <laughs> Isn't that normal? No, that's normal, I guess. 86, yeah. Yeah, 86. You're a human being. Um, and then if you come over here to like the sunny side, I think these, um, these window sills right here, they act as a heat exchange big time. 83 degrees. Well, sun, I don't know. Is the sun shining over there? I know the sun's shining right here. 101 degrees. And if we have this window open, air is passing right over this. 101 degrees. And that's heating up the air in here. Whereas you go over to a side over here that's like kind of in the shade, it's 82 degrees. And if I keep that window open, the air is going over 82 degree uh, air. So it, this actually having this window open is probably heating us up. And being and the fact that it's not insulated is like double trouble. Okay. Uh, while this one's heating up, let's move to one over here that's already been on for a while and measure this. Oh, what do you see? 116 degrees of heat. And this is supposedly, it's an LED. 
Um, so that's, you know, it's not incandescent. It's supposed to be more efficient. It's still putting out a lot of light. Here is another LED light. Uh, this one's considerably cooler, 83 degrees. So that's just like ambient temperature. So what does this tell us, Tiff? It's awesome. It is? That this is a nice little tool to have. Yes, that's what this tells us. This is an awesome little tool. It's like $15 on Amazon. Are you I'm gonna, gonna put a link? Yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Do you get... <laughs> yes, you I get, get a, a lot of full disclosure, guys. I don't have anybody click on my link, so nothing to worry about there. <laughs> and we've also determined Tiff, contrary to popular belief, it's not a robot. She's human. 86 degrees. There's the proof, guys. See ya.